I have my son RJ, my daughter Raylan, and my daughter Roosevelt. Um, it's something we do uh, most Father's Day. I remember coming out here a few years ago with my dad, and it's just something we've kept on going. All history is important, but this they actually get to see the physical history and learn more from the older generation. Families like Rochelle's came out to see the World War II planes and to hear stories like H.J. Luke's. It was pretty scary, I'll tell you that. They're very afraid all the time because you're always afraid you're going to get shot down. I was 21. Young. The whole crew was 21. I flew uh, 30 missions and 28 on this one here. Flying Fortresses, manned by United States Army Air Force crews, bound for Germany in broad daylight. This plane never got shot down. It made 144 missions over Germany and France, and no one was ever killed on it. It was a miracle plane. This B-17 is one of only a handful still flying today. So we got 600 holes in it, but no one ever died on it. It was a miracle plane. Even with the holes, his miracle plane still made it through the war and took him and other World War II veterans up for one more flight, this time over the peaceful Pacific Northwest skies. I took a trip on the B-17 that I flew 75 years ago. It's all part of the Collings Foundation Wings of Freedom Tour. The group flies into towns all across the country, letting people see the planes up close and taking some for rides in the historic bombers. Well, it was very nice seeing beautiful country, but I never seen that kind of country before when we were flying combat missions because it was up 30,000 feet. 